Hey guys, my name is Haley, and this is my very first video on this channel. Um, I created a new channel because I really wanted to give some advice on beauty products and hair products and stuff that I know a lot about. And today I'm going to talk about um, the pros and cons of the GHD straightener versus the Chi straightener. And I definitely feel like I this is something that I can talk about because I have been straightening my hair since probably fifth grade. Um, I have naturally wavy hair. It's um it's pretty thick. I've I have like a good amount of hair. I've gotten it thinned out a couple of times so it's not as thick as it used to be, but um it still is pretty thick and it usually takes me a good amount of time in the morning to straighten my hair. Um, so basically I'm going to start out by saying that um, ever since my first chi, uh, which I have right here, I just fell I just fell in love with it. I it worked so well and um, it straightened my hair really fast. And um, so ever since then, I've only bought cheese, and I have gone through a lot of them. And there's, they definitely have some good qualities, but let me just show you. They break, and I buy another one, and it breaks, and I buy another one, and that one breaks, and I buy another one, and I'm not exaggerating. So this is my first one, just the traditional one inch. Then I went ahead and got a Chi Turbo, and I loved it. It worked really well, but it broke. So I got another Chi Turbo, and I got a thicker one, and it broke. And then recently, I've been using um, just a little pink one inch, and it just broke. So I was thinking, you know, I've gone through... I probably have two more that I just didn't even keep because they're all broken and I hope one day that I can repair them. I guess that's why I'm keeping them around. Um, basically, I went to Sephora and let them know my issues and um, they told me that they had this amazing straightener called a GHG straightener and they said that um, it basically had a two-year warranty, which got me really excited, and that was a big deal for me because if it breaks, I want to be able to go get another one. And um, she basically just told me all the great things about it, and so this is my brand new GHD straightener. I just used it, and um, I absolutely love it. Like my hair, my hair is perfectly straight. Like I think it looks amazing, and. So I'm really happy with what I bought. So basically I'm just going to talk about um, the things, the um, bad things about Chi and the bad things about GHD and then the good things about each. Um, so I'm going to start with talking about uh, Chi. Um, this is the pink one. It's just the basic one inch. It's the one that I've been using recently in the last couple months um, before I got the GHD the other day. And basically... Um, the things that I have found that aren't so great about it is, first of all, you plug it in and it takes a little bit of time to heat up. It's not like 10 minutes or anything. It usually takes, you know, one to two minutes would be my guess. Um, and it doesn't make a noise or anything. You just have to see the light start blinking and that's how you know that it's ready. So you just kind of have to look at it and wait for it to be ready. And um, it... It does heat up to a pretty good heat. Unfortunately, another con is that there's not a heat gauge on it. You can't pick the temperature. Um, on the turbos, you can, but that's a turbo. You know, that's the more expensive one. And um, another con is that it loses heat once you straighten the side. It'll lose the heat really quickly, and you have to wait for the light to start blinking again before you can do it. Um, on your next section or your next side, and a lot of the times your sides end up uneven because the heat hasn't been consistent, so um, that really kind of bothered me a lot, and um, yeah, so those are kind of the negative things about um, the Chi. It costs, 
I think they cost between like uh, 120 to um, I think the turbos were like 200 something around there. So um, they're fairly expensive, and especially because they break, I don't think that that's worth shelling out that much money. And so those are kind of the negative sides of the Chi. And then um, the GHD um, uh, con about it is it also doesn't have a temperature gauge. But um, there's really cool microchip technology um, in the ceramic plate. And it measures the oxygen in your hair. So it gives you a custom heat. So everyone, when they straighten their hair, is going to get the heat that's um, best for their hair type and so they get the best straightening for their hair and I think that's really cool and um, honestly thus far that is the only con that I've seen about um, the GHD as you can see I have the two inch one when I had used to use the Chi straighteners um, I had the thicker turbo this one so they're this one's a little bit bigger the Chi's a little bit bigger but um, I noticed that it just straightened my hair a lot faster, and so I like that a lot. So I got a 2-inch GHD. Um, actually, one other con would be um, the price of the GHD. It, I think it was like $225, $240, somewhere around there. So it definitely is expensive, but, you know, with a two-year warranty, if anything breaks, you know you have those two years to go get another one, go get it fixed, go get it replaced, and so that's definitely um, really important for me. Um, now I'm going to talk about the good things. Um, with the Chi, you know, it is a quality straightener. Like, I'm not trying to say that it's not, it's not a bad straightener. It is a good straightener, but um, like I said, a lot of the times my hair would be inconsistent from one side to the other, and that really bothered me when, you know, one side was more straight and the other side was a little more poofy and my hair gets really frizzy and big in the rain and, um, you know, the Chi wouldn't hold the, the straightener like I've heard the GHD does. I haven't been in the rain yet since I got the GHD yesterday and I just straightened my hair with it for the first time, so I'll have to get back to you on that, but, um, she is, you know, a decent straightener, and I'm not trying to say that it's not. Um, the GHD, however, I literally had to make one pass through my hair, and you know, you do have to do it kind of slow, it's not done. You have to take a little bit of time to make sure that it's straight and it's even. But as you can see, my hair is really slick and really shiny and really straight, which is amazing. And the bottoms were straightened too, they're, um, a lot of the time with my chi, I would um, have to redo the bottoms, and um, that kind of bothered me. Another thing that uh, I heard is that the chi uh, is really damaging to your hair, and um, a lot of people have noticed that they have to get trims sooner than before they used a straightener because the chi is so damaging. And, you know, all straighteners are somewhat damaging, but the GHD is less damaging, and it has um, something in the plates that keeps it a little more uh, safe from your hair. But I always do recommend putting in a heat protectant spray before. Just, they have all different kinds. Just spray it in your hair and kind of scrunch it when it's wet, and then um, it'll protect it from the heat. So, um, that is my review on the GHD and the Chi, and I hope you really enjoyed it. At the end of the day, I definitely would recommend the GHD. Um, I haven't had any problems with it yet. I'll definitely let y'all know if I do, but, you know, after going through so many Chis, I was ready to try something else, and I'm really glad that I did, because so far, I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and have a wonderful day. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.